To create a complex shape or vector graphic, Illustrator allows you to add basic shapes together to create a multitude of interesting designs. In the following lesson, we'll be guiding you step by step to create a design. So let's get started. In Illustrator, click the File menu and select New. We'll name our file Swirl. We want to keep our width at 4 inches. And in the Height box, we'll type in 6. When finished, click on the OK button. To start creating our design, select the Ellipse tool, which is hidden behind the Rectangle tool. On the artboard, draw a circle by holding down the Shift key, then clicking and dragging outwards. Now return to the Tools panel and select the Pen tool. We're now going to create a triangle partly overlapping the circle by creating four anchor points. We'll create our first anchor point inside of the circle, then the second one around the edge of the circle, followed by a third way below, then back to our first anchor point to close our triangle. Next, select the Convert Anchor Point tool hidden under the Pen tool. On the artboard, click on each anchor point of the triangle and drag it in order to curve the corners. We'll repeat the same thing on our second anchor point. As well as our third. Select the selection tool. And while holding down the shift key, select both shapes. To combine these two shapes, go to the window menu, select Pathfinder, and click on the Unite button. We're going to close out of the Pathfinder panel. Then to color the shape, go to the color panel and double click on the fill box. Select the color in the color picker by first clicking and dragging inside of the color spectrum. Then click and drag inside of the color field to select the desired saturation. When finished, click OK. Let's create our next part of the design in a new file. Go to the File menu, select New, and name it Circle Pattern. This time we'll set our height to 4 inches, then click OK. Select the Ellipse tool and draw another circle. Afterwards, select the Selection tool, click on the fill box in the color panel, then click on the Color Panel Flyout menu and select RGB. Drag the R slider to 15, then drag the G slider to 181. Then drag the B slider to 201. Afterwards, go to the Edit menu and select Copy. Then go back to the Edit menu and select Paste in Front, while simultaneously holding down the Shift and Alt key, click and drag one of the corners of the circle's bounding box to center it. After it's been centered, click on the Fill box. Then drag the R slider to 224 and drag the G slider to 168. When finished, go to the Edit menu, select Copy, then go back to the Edit menu, and select Paste in Front. And just like before, center the circle by holding down the Shift and Alt key and dragging one of the bounding boxes inward. To color this circle, click on the Fill box and drag the G slider to 255. 
then drag the B slider to 161. Let's create our next part of the design in a new file. Go to the File menu, select New, and name it Circle Blend. Set the width to 6 inches and keep the height at 4. When finished, click on OK. Select the Ellipse tool and draw a circle. Afterwards, select the Selection tool, click on the Fill box in the Control Panel, then select a color. Next, select the Stroke box in the Control Panel and select None. Next, we're going to create a copy of our circle by holding down the Alt key, then clicking and dragging the circle to the right. And just as we did before, click on the Fill box in the Control Panel and select a color. Afterwards, go to the Object menu, scroll down to Blend, then select Blend Options. Click on the spacing arrow, select Specified Steps, then type 2 in the text box adjacent to it. Click OK. In the Tools panel, select the Blend tool, then click once on each circle to create your blend. To combine our shapes to create a design, go to the File menu and select New. Set the new document profile to Print and the size to Letter. Set the units to Inches, then hit OK. Then use the Arrange Documents shortcut to place all of our documents in a grid. Use the Selection tool to click and drag our shapes to the new document. Repeat the same steps until all shapes are combined in the new document. Now select our new document, select Arrange Documents, then choose Consolidate All. Now you can combine the shapes in order to create whatever design you like.